today I'm going to talk about the new updates to Google Classroom. We'll be looking at the OMG This Is Amazing, the I Can Make It Work, and the Still Needs Improvement features. Let's start with the OMG This Is Amazing. First up, the Classwork tab. Welcome to the Classwork tab. You can now group all of your assignments under Topics, and you can make as many topics as you'd like simply by pressing Create, choosing Topic, adding the name of your topic, and pressing Add. To help keep you organized, you can even move your topics around until they are in the places that you want them. The settings gear is super awesome. Now all of your class settings are in one easily recognizable place, the most important of which is the class code that you can still display to your students, just this time it's found in settings. Want even more customized settings, especially around notifications? For that, you need to go to the whole Google Classroom settings that you find by going to the three lines and choosing settings over there. Here, what's really super cool is you can change the notifications on a class by class basis. I've saved the best for last. A super cool comment bank now is part of Google Classroom embedded in Google Docs. I'm gonna open up an assignment and I'm gonna press on my first student. I now have this feedback shell. No more do I have to open up all of my student documents and go through them one at a time. Right now, I can see all the list of my students and I can scroll through their documents. It also puts you straight into editing mode, so you don't need to shift into that when you first um, start in the student document. You can enter their grade here. You can change the total grading points. You can add a private comment that'll go right into Google Classroom. And you still see it in here, even though you did that. But the coolest part is the comment bank. I press on the comment bank. I can add to my comment bank right here. I can search when I have a lot of comments. And now when I go to add a comment in Google Doc, I press hashtag and or pound. Uh, depends how old you are, I guess. And now I can scroll through my different comments. The only thing to keep in mind is that it only has limited space for the scrolling. So it seems that after like four or five, it stops pulling them up over here, but you can always just uh, copy and paste from right here into there. They're still all right here. And these comments transfer between classes and assignments. Now it's time for I Can Make It Work because we're being positive and change is hard. The Create button has replaced the Plus button in the Classwork tab and it's moved. What used to be down here in the bottom right is now up here in the left. You can only post assignments and questions in Classwork. Announcements are for the stream, but more on that later. A needs improvement part, it disappears as you scroll down. There's no about page for teachers. And I know, but what about my syllabus and my reference sheets and my materials that I need to stay around? You have two options. Option A is to create a resource or an about topic right here in Google Classroom. I can call it resources. I can press add. You might want to decide if you want it on bottom or on top. And then into there, I can put anything that would be on my about tab. Another option is to put links in the description of the class in settings. Students will have an about tab and this will show up in their about tab. If you want to include it though, you go to settings, you press edit over here, and then in the place where it says really to show your class description, you put in all of those things um, as links that students can then click on. And a rumor has it that Google Classroom will be including an option to put materials in the Classwork tab. The done, not done, and late designation isn't super clear. When a student submits an assignment, the icon near the assignment turns gray. And when it's expanded, it says in small letters on the student view right over here, turned in, assigned, or missing. I wish it was more in your face for students, but okay. On that note, the done and not done count doesn't show automatically. Like when I'm scrolling through my feed, I can't see who did what. 
I instead I have to click on the assignment name in order to see how many students turned in their work. It's a little annoying. That's right, we're up to still needs improvement. And that's really a euphemism for I really, really, really don't like this. And I really, really, really hope that Google changes it. Let's look at the stream. Google says that it's the place that now students can have conversations and uh, have discussions. But wait, you say, that sounds great. It does until you realize that every assignment you post becomes an announcement. And since you can't arrange announcements or pin them to the top, if you make an announcement through this button, it is likely to get lost in the deluge of assignment posts. If that isn't bad enough, the default home on Google Classroom is the stream. Let me show you. I'm in classwork. I view an assignment. I want to go back. I press on my class name and I'm at the stream instead of at classwork. So every single time that you press the back arrow in an assignment, you end up back at the entirely unuseful stream instead of the assignment you were just in middle of. A workaround for this is pressing the back arrow on your browser instead of in classroom. So if I'm here and I view the assignment, I can just press that back arrow and it'll get me back to where I was. I won't complain anymore about the stream, but unless Google changes something fast, I do plan to tell my students to ignore the stream entirely. And last, but certainly not least, Google has announced that two other features will be added at some point. Number one, the ability to add a classwork page to existing classes. These new features currently apply only to new classes that you create, but they are working on a solution for updating existing classes. And number two is the quizzes update. This is the one people have been buzzing most about. Teachers will eventually be able to use locked mode in Google Forms quizzes to make sure that students stay focused and on task. You will be able to also create quizzes right in classroom, similar to the way you create assignments and questions. 